when I was doing the show once, someone gave me a bottle of champagne. I then incorporated that into the show. And I've gone around the country down and uh, different drinks out my leg. Welcome to Some People Have Too Many Legs. Woo! Hey! <laughs> This isn't sort of NHS detail. This is stuff I've added to it. So um, normally it lights up. Let's see if that works now. Hey, there's this one as well. It's like black pearl lights on your leg. Yeah, you get quite a lot of attention from kids and um, drunk men. Uh, so welcome to my flat. I've made it into a kind of cave to cocoon me of all things good. You know, I'm not a popular sort of demographic in the world at the moment. You know, I'm a working class, queer, disabled artist, and I'm a girl, and you know, and I've had like mental health problems in the past. So if the world doesn't particularly like you, create a jumble sale in your living room, and you know, it works for me. It's nice to be in here, because then it's like all them people aren't in the room with you. The reason that I decorate my leg is because I expected it to look like something out of Robocop. I thought it was going to be really cool and it was horrible. It just looked like something I was lending from the hospital. So I covered it in me. I basically, you know, just like covered it in glue and rolled it in my flat. Um, and when, actually when I first got it, I had like my Doc Martens on it because I used to wear them constantly. And that felt like a sort of marker of identity. There's a photo shoot of me sat on the toilet here. It's got like a quote over the top that says, the fight for sexual equality is not between men and women, it's between people and dickheads. And so yeah, so that's gone, I've gone viral. Isn't that weird? So I don't know how my mum feels about it being sat on the toilet on it. I'm sure she's very proud. I've got a show tonight, so we need to go to town and I need to get some final props. We're in Affleck's Palace and this place has been a huge influence on me when I was a little kid. We are looking for brown teddy bears that I am going to adapt before the show. And I cut all the teddy bears' legs off, which I'm sure is cathartic in some way and um, the teddy bears sit in the audience in the show uh, so people can cuddle one if they want to and I think it's a nice way of introducing the humour of the show like it's not going to be sort of precious. I think it's just interesting if people are like oh my god you can't cut a leg off a teddy bear and it's like well sometimes we cut legs off humans. So I've got an app on my phone that told me that it's three years to the day um, that they cut it off. You know, having my leg off is great because it's like all of a sudden you are other, you know, there's no getting away from it. So it's like, oh, all the other things that are other about me, I might as well just embrace. You know, people have said, and I believe that like this leg looks more like me than this leg. And that's lovely. We're like three minutes until the show starts. Um, and three minutes is how long it takes to run the bag. So uh, this is my pre-show ritual. I know some people do like vocal exercises and stuff, but you know, I'm from Scan. I'm still from Scan for God's sake, so you know, it's fine. So the show is called Some People Have Too Many Legs. There's dark bits in it, there's like bereavements, there's, you know, amputation. Um, but there's also a dancing unicorn, there's a lot of puppets, there's you know a bubble machine and a dream sequence and all that sort of business. So it's, it's slipping the amputation in there. It's, it's doing really well, which is surprising for amputation comedy. It doesn't matter how many arms or legs you've got for pole dancing, it's hard regardless of what package you come in. We're all going to get bruises. We're all going to be sore. That's so hard. <laughs> I was born without most of my left arm. 